Welcome to JVR Industries. Today we're gonna to cover the topic, what is a roll stock machine? But before we get into that, check out the description below. We have forming, non-forming, and easy to peel films. So check out those links. And if you're looking for bulk pricing, feel free to contact us via 716-206-2500. Our office is open from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time, Monday through Friday. Also, check out the links below for our rebuilt roll stock units that we do in-house and check out our PRS mini series. It's an ultra compact roll stock unit. So now we're going to get into this video. Um, it's a segmented video of Andrew Ising speaking at the PAMP convention in Pennsylvania. So it's definitely worth listening to. You're going to hear some, some expertise in vacuum packaging since we've been around for 50 years. And if you like this video, Watch out for more videos like this coming soon. So enjoy. My name is Andrew Ising. I'm with JVR Industries. We're out of Buffalo, New York. Um, this is Peter Laurent and my dad over there, Bob Ising, is sitting down. Um, so if uh, you have any questions during the, the presentation, feel free to raise your hand at that time. Um, there will be time at the very end to ask some final questions, but if any point, I want this to be as interactive as possible. I want you guys to get whatever questions you have out there so that um, if it you know comes to your mind at that point, I wanna address it. So um, he, who here are, well, has a roll stock right now? Cause I know a few of you guys do. Okay, all right. So I know who's gonna contradict things I say or maybe disagree. <laughs> But uh, no, I think we'll be pretty much on point. I want to start off by uh, what might be boring to some of you, but I really want everyone to have a good understanding of what a roll stock is and what it does. Uh, my goals is at the end of this, for you guys to all know more about the machines than 95% of the salesmen out there. So if you do go to buy one, uh, you will know what questions to ask and you will know, you know when you're not being told correct information. Um, so a roll stock packaging uh, at its simplest form, it's a horizontally configured packaging machine. Uh, they use heat and compressed air to form a pocket. That pocket is then filled with your product. So versus a bag, everyone's here for the most part should be familiar with vacuum chamber machines where you take a preformed bag, you put your product in, you take that bag, you lay it across the seal bar, close the lid, it vacuums, and it's very manual intensive. There's a lot of steps there. Um, with a roll stock machine, the machine is already forming the pocket, so it's making the bag for you. Uh, you then have a loading station that you can fill the product with, and then it transfers through, it uh, vacuums and then seals it, and then it just continues to carry on through and cuts it into your individual portion uh, cuts into your individual uh, uh, bags. So starting off on the forming end of the machine, um, there's different machine manufacturers, they do it differently, but for the most part, you're using a flexible film and that film goes into a die, a die box lifts up and it heats the film. So the films that are used on these machines, they're, they're called thermal formable films. So you'll hear the terms uh, roll stock, thermal formers and HFFS, that's horizontal form fill seal. All three of those, for the most part, refer to the same type of machine. There are other HFS machines, there's different thermal formers, but in this industry, a lot of times, those three, uh, three terms are used interchangeably, so don't get mixed up if a different term is being used. Um, roll stock, uh, that term is probably the most common, um, most widely used, um, but it is also a manufacturer of a machine, Roll Stock Inc., uh, Kansas City. Um, they are not the only ones that make a roll stock style machine. There's roll stock, multi-vac, Promarks, which we'll be showing you, um, Alma, there's a, probably a dozen, if not more, that are available out there. Um, all of them do exactly the same thing. Um, some look prettier than others, some are smaller than others, uh, some are a little bit faster than others, but they all are doing the same thing. They're all putting out the same exact package. It's like a chamber machine. Um, you put a product in and it comes out and uh, unless you really know what you're looking for, you're not gonna be able to tell if it came out of a multivac or if it came out of a Promarx or you know, fill in the blanks there. Thanks again so much for watching JVR Industries on YouTube. We hope you found this extremely informative. Feel free to leave your comments and questions below regarding the topic. And maybe even just put your experiences from the shift from chamber vacuum sealers to roll stock machines and the benefits you've reaped from that shift. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact JVR Industries at 716-206-2500. That's 716-206-2500. And we are open from 8.30 a.m. to 
5 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Looking forward to hearing from you. And lastly, do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can see more content like this automatically notifying you on YouTube. Well, guys, once again, so grateful you guys joined us today. Thanks for having us, and we look forward to sharing more of our expertise in vacuum packaging here on YouTube. You guys have a great one.